Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bone Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to pair your brand new Canon EOS R6 to your smartphone via Canon's Camera Connect app. Okay, so the first step, of course, is to turn our camera to the on position. Then we're going to take the mode dial here and switch it over to manual. It doesn't have to be in manual, but manual gives us full control, so you're going to want that anyways. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to press the menu button. It is the button to the right of the rate button, so we're just going to give that a press here, and then it's going to pull up our menu. From here, we're going to navigate over to the network one settings, and we can navigate that just by touching it here at the top but we can also use our little joystick here on the side of the camera if that makes navigating the menu a little bit easier for you. And now that we're in My Network 1, we're going to tap here on Wi-Fi settings, and right now by default it is disabled. We're going to go ahead and enable that just like this by tapping on it and then selecting OK. Now it says enabled, which is what we need. Now we're going to press menu, and then the next step here is to tap Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection. We're going to tap that and then it asks us what we want to connect to. We're going to connect here to a smartphone. We can also connect to our computer if we've downloaded Canon software. So we're going to tap on the device we're trying to connect to. It says add a device to connect to. So we're going to tap on that. And then here we can display the two QR codes. The first one I'm going to display for you here is Android. So scan this on your screen right now. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this. Give this a scan on your screen. And I'm also going to have a link description down below for Android. And then here we have the iOS. So if you have an iPhone, scan this QR code and download the Canon Camera Connect app. Scanning this QR code takes us to the App Store and this is what the Canon Camera Connect app looks like. So give that a download and then we're going to go to the settings panel here on our iPhone. We're going to select OK here and then we're going to pair via Wi-Fi to make this a little bit easier. So we're going to connect via Wi-Fi, it's going to search for access points and then here we can see our SSID and our password. So here on our phone we can see, sure enough, that Wi-Fi SSID. So let's give this a tap here and it's going to ask us for the password. So I'm going to type in this exact password. This password is generated randomly so yours is going to be different than mine. I'm going to give that a tap here and then we'll continue. Okay so I typed in my password. I'm going to press join and then we can see here that it is trying to connect. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start our Canon app slash software on the smartphone. So we're going to go open up Canon Camera Connect app right here and it's going to load up and try to connect to the camera. Here it says uh, select the camera that we're trying to connect to and the only one that pops up is our Canon EOS R6. So we're going to give this a tap right here on the smartphone and then we're going to have to hit OK to accept it here on the R6. So now we're just going to tap OK and it's going to take a couple seconds, establish the connection and now we are good to go. We're going to tap OK here on the smartphone and now we are connected. So if I go here to images on camera, I can tap here and then I can go through all the pictures that I've taken with the R6 on the SD card. So here I can just go in and I can actually save these locally to my phone. So if I tap this right here, I can import the photo and I can choose a reduce size to share for social media or something like that to make it fast or I can do the original full size image and I can download that straight to our phone. So if I hit OK, it's going to download and it's going to import straight into the photo app. And once the photos are done importing, it actually leaves a little redirect and if we click on that, it's going to bring up my photos and show where it is here in the photos app on the iPhone. So that's really nice and cool. You can also import videos. I don't think you can import uh, videos that were filmed with C-Log because the iPhone can't play them back. But here we have a 4K video. I believe it was filmed at 30 frames per second. And I can actually go ahead and import this to my iPhone. I'm going to actually skip this because it's a big, big photo. But with the R6, we can transfer 4K videos from our camera to our smartphones. So that is really, really cool. The next cool thing we have here in the app is our remote live shooting. So here on our iPhone, if I move the camera around, you can see a very, very, very small delay and we can actually fully control our camera via this app. So if our camera is in menu mode, we can actually go in here and we can change all our settings. So we can change the shutter speed and use a faster shutter speed. We can change our aperture, we can change our ISO, we can change our white balance. We can basically do everything here on our iPhone that we could do on our camera and to take a picture, you're just going to tap and it's going to take a picture with almost no delay. This is really great. You can have your camera set up on a tripod really far away because it's using Wi-Fi and you can take pictures and fully control your camera 
via your smartphone. Of course, then you can import the photos by tapping the photo that we just took and we can import that to our iPhone to make it really nice and easy. It's really cool to have live view here on the iPhone. You can see it's not connected or anything like that. And as I move the camera, it's actually updating in almost live time. We can see things move here on the screen almost at the same time as it moves there on the app. So there is a slight delay, but definitely nothing too crazy and it works almost flawlessly. Oh, and one other really cool thing is we can actually tap to focus on our smartphone and just like this. So we're gonna tap and here it pulled in the focus on the pair of sunglasses. And if I tap here on the wall, it's going to pull focus to the wall. So it's really, really cool. And basically your phone becomes another screen for your camera. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out and uh, kind of gave you some information about this app and how to set it up. If it did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then to be notified every single time I put a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.